I know Tony's going to be doing a lot of these runs. I know Tony's going to be doing a lot of these runs. 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 It's Allison here. We are starting with our first ever treadmill running walking series. So the awesome part about these is you guys can do them on a treadmill. You can do them outside on your own. Um, it really doesn't matter anytime. So the workout, this one in particular, is going to be 20 minutes long. It's going to incorporate um, a warm up and then we're gonna head into some different running intervals and some sprinting intervals. So again, if you guys have injuries or anything and can't do the running part, walk along, use it to follow it. I will be giving you guys guides and um, different percentages to hit in terms of where you guys should be in, as, in terms of your exertion rate. So we are going to get started. Let, nice, easy jog. We've got about a three minute warm up here until we move on to a faster pace. So make sure you guys have that speed set. Um, I'm gonna start out around a four. So nice, super easy pace. Nothing crazy, this is strictly a warm up. You guys are gonna make sure you're nice and loose. Get your blood flowing, shake out those arms. And head into some nice light butt kickers. Get those heels all the way up. Kick that butt. We're doing this for about 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna head into some side shuffles. So nice, easy side shuffles. Three, two, one. Right into right side, right side shuffles. A lot easier, harder to say, right? So nice and easy. Still warming up and switch. Do the other side. About five more seconds, and we're back to our nice, easy jog. Three, two, one, easy pace. Pick up that speed about a half a point. If you're on a treadmill, you're just running outside, pick up that pace a little bit more. We're about halfway through our warm up. You guys should be feeling good. You should make sure you're still able to talk. Again, nice, easy pace. It's gonna be a fun run. Like I said, we got intervals coming up. You guys follow along. You're gonna push yourselves. Some of you may be faster than me. That's awesome. Push yourself. Some of you may not be quite as fast. Totally awesome. Again, push yourself. This is all meant to do at your own pace. I'm just here to give you the guidance. So go ahead, increase that speed. Another half a point. If you're not on a treadmill, pick up that pace a little bit faster. So you guys should actually be starting to feel warm. When we get to that three minute mark, we are gonna go into a faster run. We're gonna go 30 second faster run, 30 second light jog. You guys having fun yet? I know Tony's gonna be doing a lot of these runs. Even if you guys aren't a runner, that's okay. This is a perfect way to practice. Again, it's only 20 minutes, so it's nothing crazy. The goal on this is just to try and stay to jog the whole time. Throughout this workout, if you need to walk at any point, slow it down, walk a little bit, and then pick right back up. So in about five seconds, we're gonna pick up that pace for 30 seconds, go into our fast run. Go ahead, pick up that pace. One full point. For reference, I'm at a 6.0 right now. This should not be full exertion. You guys should be able to breathe pretty easily. If you're running with a friend or family member, you're still able to have that conversation. You guys aren't breathless. So again, five more seconds. And then we bring it back down to a jog. Three, two, one. Bring it back down. One full point. I'm going back to a five. Again, don't forget guys, you're faster than this. This is too easy. Pick that pace up. I'm just here for guidance. So 
Nice, easy jog. Five more seconds. We're gonna pick it up again for another 30 seconds. This time you're gonna try and go a little bit faster than that last run. Ready, pick up that pace. I'm going to a 6.5. So I'm a half a point faster than it was last time, 30 seconds. You guys are doing awesome. Keep it up. It goes fast, 10 seconds. Don't slow down, don't rest. Three, two, one. Bring it down, back to your light jog. You guys are doing awesome. Keep that pace. At any point, like I said, you need to slow down. Take a little breather, that's fine. It's also super important. You guys are drinking water. Stay hydrated. We got one more push. Pick up that pace. Again, I'm a little faster than the last time. I'm at 7.0 right now. This is our last push. And then we're gonna jog. Keep going. Remember, these are only 30 seconds. Good job, pump those arms. Try and relax your shoulders. Relax that jaw. Three, two, one. Good job, guys, bring it back to that jog. Super light jog. We're gonna recover here. And then we're going to go into some Tabata intervals. Turning on my little Tabata timer. You guys can listen along on here, but it's gonna guide you guys through. I'm gonna push, we're gonna go 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, so 20, 10. So it's not very long, these are gonna go by super quick. We are going to do five of these. So five of these, every interval, we're gonna try and pick up that pace. So the first one, these are all gonna be going up percentage of exertion, Right now I'm about a 4-8 light jog. We're gonna get started in about five seconds. Four, three, two, one. You're gonna wanna pick it up to that heavy jog pace. So this should be starting to get a little bit harder. We're only doing this for 20 seconds. It's nice and quick. That 10 second break, you got a choice. You can either stop, take a full break, walk or keep it a light jog it's up to you guys if you're just getting started running you may need that break two one good bring that pace down so it's quick nice easy jog three two one bring that pace up again a little bit faster than the last 20 seconds bringing my pace up to a seven seven this should be starting to get hard guys you should be up to your running pace. About 60% of your all out max. Four, three, two, one. Woo, bring down that speed, slow it down. Nice and easy. Don't forget, relax those shoulders. Still having fun, bring that pace up again. Same thing, a little faster. I'm going up to an eight. This is where you're starting to get breathless, okay? Probably can't have a com comfortable conversation with someone. Three, two, one. Back it off. These are always the fun ones. They're nice and short, but they're super effective to get in that interval training. Bring that pace up again. Again, I'm going to eight, five. So every interval is a little bit faster. Every time you guys push yourself a little harder. Eight seconds. Don't stop early. Five, four, three, two, rest. Awesome job. You know, you guys are all killing it. No one's stopped yet. We're almost halfway done. Last interval in this group. Bring it up. Fastest one you do. Eight, five. 
where I'm at doesn't mean you're not faster, you're not slower. This should be the fastest one you've done so far. Five more seconds. And rest. You guys killed it. Bring it back down. If you need it, walk. If you don't, keep it a light jog. Again, you guys are doing what you need to do. Some of you haven't run, maybe for the last six, eight weeks. Totally fine, use this to build on your running. We're not looking to break any records just yet. It's perfect 20 minute run to get you back going. So we're here for about another 30 seconds. Nice and easy jogger walk. You're back to being able to have a conversation. So catch your breath, let your heart rate come down a little bit. Relax, grab water if you guys need it. You're killing it. Our next round, we've got four 30 second intervals. So 30 seconds on, 15 second rest. So a little bit longer work, a little bit longer rest. We're gonna try again and pick up that pace a little bit more with each interval. I like to always build on that foundation. When your leg gets going, legs get going, the blood starts flowing. You should be feeling a little bit in your groove by now. So we've got about 10 more seconds. Again, I got my Tabata timer going. We're going 30 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. Four rounds. Get ready, guys. Three, two, one. I'm gonna start at a seven. So a little bit faster than where I started last time. 30 seconds. Try to focus on your breathing. A lot of running is just not hyperventilating. When I used to run, I used to hyperventilate myself and I hated it and I hated running. So it's really focusing on trying to match that breath to your footsteps, to your running. Try not to get in your head and get worked up. Good, rest. Bring it back down, bringing it down to a five and a half. Easy pace. Like I said, if you guys need to bring it to a jog, first one's done. First interval done. Pick up that pace again. Bring it back up. Nice job. I'm at an eight seven, a little bit faster. Pick those knees up. Nice big strides. Keep going, we've only got 10 seconds. Don't stop early. You guys are doing awesome. Three seconds. Woo! Good job. Take that break. Bring it down to a walk, a jog. Again, whatever you guys need. We're doing awesome. We've only got two left. This goes by so fast. I'm a little bit faster this time. Again, you're pushing that pace. If you can sprint out of 10 for 30 seconds, you should be around an 8.8 .8 or a nine right now. It's your gauge. This should be hard. Just keep it going. Five seconds. Good job, bring it back down. Recover. We've got one more. This is your fastest speed of the day. So far, fastest pace. Can you hold it? 30 seconds. You should be about 85% of your max. You're not in a full sprint, but it's a fast, fast run. We're already halfway done. with this interval. Keep going. Five seconds. Hold it here. Woo! And walk or jog it out. Good job, everyone. Walk or jog it out. Catch your breath. Grab some water. Grab a quick water break. 
See how fast this goes? It's crazy how fast when you fall through intervals and add different intervals in, it really breaks up that time. So if you struggle with running, this is perfect for you guys because one, it's not boring. At least I don't think it is. Hopefully you guys are having fun. But two, it's not so monotonous and you're burning more calories after you get done with your workout. You guys are adding in HIIT training. So you're gonna be burning more calories for longer after we get done. The whole goal, push yourselves. What, someone, what might be someone's fastest pace isn't another. But you're just doing your best the entire time. Your goal is to be exhausted and not need to do another one of these when we get done. So let's get ready. Next intervals, we're going into 40 seconds on, 20 second rest. So again, we're going up in length in both the work period and the rest period. You guys are doing great. We've got four of these. It's gonna take us almost to the end. Ready, pick up that pace. Again, you're back up to about 75% of your max speed. I'm gonna be about an eight because these intervals are a little bit longer. So pick that pace. You guys can keep the whole time. Make sure you're not adjusting that speed. Find that pace that works for you. Keep killing it, you guys are doing great. 15 seconds. Again, pick up those knees, relax those shoulders, use those arms. We've got five seconds and we're done with that first interval. Two, nice job. Bring it back. For that nice easy jog, easy pace, or walk. Again, if you guys are walking this out, when I say go, you're walking fast. You should be at a breathless walk. If you're running, you're at a breathless run. Pick it up, try and go a little faster this time again. We are almost done. After these three intervals, we are recovering and we are done. So push these last three minutes. I'm at a nine. So again, 85 to 90% of your max. Make sure you can hold that whole 40 seconds. Don't give up. Do not stop. I know you want to, but don't do it. I'm watching you. Eight seconds. Five, four. Good work, recover. Woo. You guys should really need that recovery. If you don't need that recovery, you need to pick up that pace. We've got two left, and that is all. Then we recover. Come on, a little faster. I'm going up to a nine. Whatever that may be, you guys, you're really looking to push that pace. We've got this and one more. We have a minute left of hard work and then we are done. Don't think about stopping. Don't even think about it. We've got 10 seconds. You can do anything for 10 seconds. Do not stop. Good job, five, four, three, two. Amazing work, recover. We're going balls to the wall for this last interval, everyone. One more. This is gonna be your fastest pace. Two days, 40 seconds. And then we rest. Pick it up. How fast can you go? Pick that pace. You can hold the entire time. Come on, don't give up. We've got 30 seconds left of this class. Then we recover. Come on. Don't let yourself give up. 18 seconds. You can do anything for 18 seconds. 10 more seconds. You guys are awesome if you can. Pick up that last pace. Last third of speed. All the way to the finish line. Two, one. Slow it down. You guys are awesome. Amazing. You made it, you all killed it. 
bring it down to a nice light jog or walk. We got a one minute cool down and then you guys are all finished. You guys killed it. I'm so proud of you on this first treadmill workout. I hope you guys continue to do more. It's a great way, like I said, to push yourselves 20 minutes. You're spiking that heart rate, bringing it back down, burning more calories afterwards, and hopefully getting back into running or getting into running if you've never been a runner. Or again, uh, working on those speed walking skills as well. So you guys are doing awesome. Slow it down a little bit more. Super important you guys stretch at the end. Go ahead and stop on the treadmill, on the floor, whatever you guys are doing. We're gonna go into some nice easy stretches, quad stretch, make sure you guys are grabbing that foot. Try and keep that, those hips from coming back. Nice easy quad stretch. Go ahead, switch legs. Same thing. This is the best part, right? My favorite part. Hopefully you guys are sweating. If you're not sweating, then I challenge you to sweat next time. The next workout you guys do, you're gonna push yourself a little bit harder. Again, you guys should be tired by now. You shouldn't be ready for another workout. Grab that leg if you guys have a treadmill. You're gonna stretch out the back of those hamstrings. Try and keep that chest away from your legs. Nice, easy stretch. Go ahead, switch legs. If you guys need to stretch a little bit more, totally fine. Keep stretching all you need to do. And you guys are all finished. You guys did amazing. Good work. I'm so proud of all you guys. Look forward to leading some more of these. Let me know what you guys think of the workouts. And good job. You guys are killing it.